Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. We're on Snowcat Mountain, the place with the awesome music. And the Vulcan gets saying goodbye because he doesn't like sunshine. Well, too bad for you then. I'm not crazy about sunshine either, actually. I prefer overcast weather myself. But I'm just crazy like that. Oh, great! We get to run through everything! Holy cow! Well, I'm gonna have to show you these battles at some point, so... Let's just take our time, shall we? La, la, la. Come up these hills and you'll get attacked by ten yetis, I believe. Well, it's a ten yeti. One ten yeti, if that makes any sense at all. Um, these guys can drop luxury bananas. They're pretty nice. They're also vulnerable to um, crying, if you want to do that. Otherwise, this is going to be a lot easier than... Well, I don't know. <laughs> that guy survived all of our rounds. Or all of our attacks in the first round. Rather surprising. Nice background. Sneak up on one? Alright. Get the back sprite. Cool, we'll just keep this in, what the heck. No, I'm not sure what the combo is to that, I can't hear it too well yet. I could turn it up, but it's just like, the music is really loud outside, so I don't want to have it too loud, or else it's distracting. Okay, this is, um... Guess what, it's the Diamond Dog from Earthbound! No, not really, it's Chili Dog. Uh, chili Dog. <laughs> Oh, I just now got that, um... Yeah, you can put those guys to sleep pretty easily, I'm sure. And they also drop secret herbs once in a while. Which is good. Because that's a rare item. Occasionally, you'll run into a frosted bun down here. It's a rare enemy. Cancer bracelet? Can we equip that? Is it good? Or did I come here too late? Yeah, I came here too late. Oh well. No biggie. I wouldn't mind seeing that frosted bone for myself, though. I've seen it before. Well, dude. Dog against dog. Alright, let's see if that thing will show up. Nope, not today. <laughs> well, no, in my luck, I'll probably finally get it to show up, and then I'll run into it and kill it before I get a chance to fight it. Oh, well. This place is really short. I mean, it doesn't take long at all to get through this. Hey, Froggy. Oh, this is funny. Hop, slip, do you need something? <laughs> Okay, there we go. I believe the Mole Cricket's gonna set up shop out here. He'll just run right past us and say, Excuse me, excuse me. Hey, I thought you didn't like sunlight. Oh, that was just one of you. Call of the Wild, that was a good book. Uh, yeah, do it. Oh, I should've said no, man. It's like Taylor Swift, I should've said no. Alright, whatever. I don't need any of that. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna set up shop next to the hot spring or whatever. This must feel good. Definitely gonna take a dip in that. I think this is the biggest hot spring in the game. Not totally sure about that, but... Oh well. Yay. And if you talk to him again over there, he'll set up shop. You'll start to see these shops later in the game. The reason that one wasn't over... You know how I said before there was supposed to be a mole cricket shop outside of one of the other Majesty houses? Well, he wasn't there because I hadn't come here yet, so... This is Lydia. Let's see what kind of a voice can we do for her. Oh dear me! My little ponies have run off! This is quite a surprise, you see! We have to have visitors in some time! You must be cold! Come inside and warm up! Oh, this is spastic. I always thought this man gypsy was sort of weird because since it's cold, he can't be all scantily clad like the other ones, so he's almost more respectable or something. So you're the one they call Lucas! I've heard about you from Ionia! They say you're the one who can pull the needles! Such a strong, sweet face! Yeah, stronger than usual. I am Lydia, the Magic Seep Snowcat Mountain. What you seek is behind this house. It's surreal, and the real and the twins will come from my needle to be pulled and I can't talk. I never thought this day would come to pass. But it has. It has. When you pull the needle, I will vanish. That is our fate, it's Majesty, so that is what must happen. When the time comes, I will welcome it with open arms. Just like Journey says. But there is one concern I have. Who will take care of my precious bunny once I'm gone? No one will be here to look after them. And then there's him. He still hasn't regained his strength yet. We should have checked him out first. Yeah. <clears throat> Apparently it's a pig mask that passed out on his way up here or something. I hope everything works out for the best when the time comes. We aren't permitted to interfere, and you're wrong me to worry so much about it. I'm a mess. A horrible match of sea. I never believed the time would come. Lucas, pull the needle. Because it's time. Capitalize, pull, and needle. Alright, whatever. Now then, have faith that the time has come, and go pull the needle. I've unlocked the door for you. 
Great. Great, great, great. Let's go talk to the pig mask. Boink. Huh. I found him lying unconscious outside my house. It looks like he went on a scouting mission and never got separated from his friends. Oh. Poor guy. Oh well. Uh oh. What now? What is that? Is this what it sounds like when the time comes? No, I'm standing right here. I haven't pulled the needle yet. Oh no. What are they doing now? Oh, we gotta go outside. Oh no. He just woke up. He must have recognized the sound of his army. Let's go outside, see what's going on. Oh no! And once again, just like before, we stand there like dummies while the whole ordeal unfolds right before our eyes. But this time, they decide to torture you by not letting you see what's going on. You can just hear the sound of it. You can hear the sound of the needle being pulled. I really don't want to stop the video before this boss, but... Yes, I'm only for six minutes. It sure doesn't feel like I've been going for six minutes. Yeah, see, this takes forever, man. Oh. Can we move? Can we move? Oh my god, I guess we couldn't move before because the earth was shaking. Okay, so he pulled the needle before us. Dang it. He beat us here. Well, that's no fair. He had the ships and he could just fly here. We don't have any ships. Aren't you supposed to get an airship in these games or something? So now he's ahead three to two. That's really not good. If he gets one more, he's got the majority and he's gonna win. And he has no heart, so the Dark Dragon will have no heart, so he's probably gonna... Who knows what he's gonna do. Dark Dragon is the size of the entire island. I mean, good lord. What is that? That's Redonkey Kong. Don't take off. Come back here. I want to kick your ass. Pull a needle like that. What are you doing? Man, we are in trouble now. Okay, this is the Steel Mechorilla. Normally, it would be a much harder boss, but because I'm so overleveled because I came here last, it's going to be easy. Basically, all you need to know here is that even though he's weak against Thunder, you shouldn't use it more than two times against him, or else he'll go crazy. You can also use um, Smoke Bomb to make him cry, which is a good idea. What the heck? Oh my god, that music just went nuts. Like, it totally turned into some, like, kitty thing or something. Oh yeah, and this guy's got pretty powerful uh, attacks, too. So... Might not be a bad idea to life up here. Wait, did I even get to use the smoke bomb earlier? Let's see. That was really weird. I can't believe the music did that. There, we got him. Man, I can't get a grip on that. Oh, that sounds really painful when he hits. <laughs> it's just like, it's like he's screaming as he does it or something. Man, why do I keep... Zzzz. Yeah, that's pretty nasty, but what are you gonna do? It keeps changing. Oh my, I've never seen it do that before. I forgot that it did that. You know those candies, good and plenty? That's what that background looks like. It looks like the box of one of those. <laughs> Sounds like a carousel or something. Uh, he should be going down pretty quick here. This is not going to take long. Well, he's gone. No problemo. No problemo. Jeez. I gotta quit with that shit. 9400 experience. Not bad at all. Not too bad. Normally, that's a pretty hard boss. But, like I said, I mean, I've said it about a million times now. Yeah, just don't use thunder any more than twice and you'll be okay. Well, you probably want to use, like, shields and stuff to protect yourself from damage, too. 
Uh, yeah, that would be the case, probably. Is Lydia alright? No, she's probably not. She's probably up there disappearing right now. Well, we can't go up there yet. Don't ditch Lydia! Of course not. How can I do that? Some sort of incredible power. Oh, look at the snowman! We snowmen are mere memories of a single snowfall and nothing more. Pay me no mind. Unless you're in Wisconsin, then you can build one and it'll still be there two months later. Anyway, is Lydia alright? Will we be able to get to the next needle? Who knows? Uh, but I guess we'll have to find out next time on Let's Play Mother 3 Man. Remind me never to do H.C. Bailey again, because <laughs> I don't do it too well. Oh crap, where am I supposed to save here? Wait, I got a battle to edit out, so we can probably go for about 15 more seconds. Yeah, she's looking at the needle. It's been pulled. This is not good. She's disappearing. What will happen? Find out next time. Bye.